A woman named Colleen travels with her teenage daughters Beth and Vera to their recently deceased Aunt Clara's secluded home after they inherited it in her will. Beth reads an article about a string of home invasions where parents are murdered, but daughters are spared. Unbeknownst to the family, they are stalked by someone driving a candy truck. Shortly after they settle into the house, two intruders break in and attack the mother and daughters. One of them is a large mentally impaired man known as the Fat Man. The other intruder is known as the Candy Truck Woman. Vera is then sexually abused by the Fat Man, while Beth tries to get away but she runs into the woman. When Beth asks what the Candy Truck Woman wants, she replies, We just want to play with dolls. Colleen recovers and kills both intruders. Sixteen years later, Beth is now a successful horror fiction author living in Chicago with her husband and son. She appears on a talk show to promote her new novel Incident in a Ghost Land, based on her experience that night. She receives a frantic phone call from her sister, who has suffered from delusions since the trauma, begging her to return to the house where she still lives with their mother. When Beth arrives, Colleen explains that Vera remains unable to move on and continues reliving that night, locking herself in a padded room in the basement. Beth begins to experience strange dreams, and Vera claims that their tormentors are still trying to get them. During an episode, Beth finds Vera chained and made up to look like a doll. Colleen calls an ambulance and tells Beth not to listen to Vera. Beth falls asleep and is captured by the candy truck woman. She discovers bruises all over her beaten face and finds Vera also beaten up in the basement. She blames her for the wounds and Vera begs her sister to face the truth. Beth recalls a memory, and it is revealed that the candy truck woman actually killed their mother that night, and Beth has been imagining her adult life all this time to disassociate. In reality, she and Vera are still teenagers, and the fat man and candy truck woman are holding her and Vera captive in Clara's home. The candy truck woman dresses Beth like a doll, leaving her in a room littered with dolls. The fat man begins molesting and torturing the dolls. When he gets to Beth, she fights back and flees. She frees Vera and they escape the house. They make it to a road where two state troopers help them, reporting the incident to dispatch. However, both are gunned down by the candy truck woman, who recaptures the girls. Beth mentally retreats back to her adulthood fantasy. At a cocktail party, she meets her idol, H.P. Lovecraft, who tells Beth that her novel is a masterpiece. Beth sees Vera screaming for help and decides to return to rescue Vera. She escapes from the fat man and initiates a violent fight with the candy truck woman. Another state trooper arrives in time to gun down both the fat man and the candy truck woman. After authorities arrive, Beth sees a vision of her mother waving at them from the house as the sisters are taken to the hospital. 